We are going to create a override so that we can display custom fields in a category list for Joomla. And I found this information on the Joomla Stack Exchange and I'll go ahead and enter that information in the details so you can refer back to it as well. Here is an example of what we're going to end up with. I have a list of clients, their websites, and specific information about their agreements that we have so that I'm able to keep up with and not let anything go through the cracks like perhaps a domain expiration. So let's take a look at how we've achieved this. First we're going to make our template override. I'm in extensions, templates, templates. And the first thing I did was I couldn't actually make the override because when I was in options this was disabled preview module positions and I'm really not quite sure what this has to do with it but once I enabled it I was able to make the proper override so let's go ahead and go back to where we were and I'm going to scroll down to my template that I'm using and then I'm going to click on the create overrides tab and where we're going to want to do that is in com content category and now it's made the override. So let's go into our HTML, com content, category, and these others I'm gonna remove. The one we want to adjust is this one called default articles. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the original and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna put it in HTML editor where I'll make my changes. Before we make those changes, we need to go ahead and make our custom fields. So we're going to go over in the back end of Joomla and we're going to go to the content field groups. And you'll see I have my Webby Design client information as a group. And it is assigned to articles because I am making a category list that will display articles. And then let's look at the field group or the fields rather content fields and you'll see I have all these fields in the field group. You can see that this one's a URL which it calls to the website and the rest of them are text. I did play around a little bit with uh, some other field types but it just wasn't very successful so in order to get this tutorial done and to move on to the next thing like doing some of that maintenance I've just gone ahead and made these basic text fields. Let's take a look at one of them, hosting, and you can see that um, they are, it's called hosting and its name is hosting and hosting and it's in this particular category, in this particular group, and currently it's public, but I'm going to go ahead and make all these access to special so that it's only available to me when I'm logged in on the front end. So I don't want people poking around seeing who my clients are and maybe seeing some sensitive information. So now that I've made all my fields, let's take a look at what they look like in the article itself. So I'm going to go to the content articles and I filtered it by my category. And let's just take a look at my test client, this first one here. You can see here I've got access as special. I'll go through and I'll make sure that every single part of this has access special. And so I've entered the website uh, here. I've entered the domain expiration, the hosting, and all these relevant fields I want to show on the front end. And here in the content area, I have an area that I can put a lot more information in so that when I click on this title on my list, I'll be able to go and have even more information available and edit it as well. So the other thing I'm going to do is create a menu item which is where I create the list. So I have my Web Design client info and it's in my hidden menu so it's not available publicly to the front end. I'm also going to make this access special um, and it is the category list. Articles category list because that's what we're overriding. 
And then in the options, well, I'll have to select the category, which I've done. And in my options here, I want to make sure that some things don't show. Like globally, I have the author showing because I'm also using this uh, domain to have some uh, Google structured data where I need the author to show. But on this particular menu item, I really don't need uh, structured data and I don't need the author to show. So I've uh, put that to hide. Let's go ahead and take a look at it without the override in place. And so let's take a look at it here again without the override in place. And we're going to take a look here. And you'll can see that I just have a title and the edit article. And I'd really like it so I have this sort of in a grid so I can just briefly look and see uh, that extra information at a glance. So let's, let's take a look at the override and what we need to do to make it look like it did in the first screen. So here I am in my old copy of Dreamweaver so that I can look at the code and I can see it in sort of a WYSIWYG area. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and in this row here, I've just gone ahead and used basic text to have the information load. Above it, the editor, there's no way to really turn it off. So I've commented out the code that calls that little edit button because if I'm going to edit it I'm going to click on the title and I'm going to go to the article and edit it right within the article and not on this list. So what you can see though is down on here I have the headers and then these little PHP codes enter the value and so let's just take a look at this one right here and you can see that this loads the field called website, domain expiration, hosting, hosting expiration, maintenance, and notes. And so I've gone ahead and I've included this as a text file for you in the notes so you can just copy and paste it and change it to how you'd like it to be. So we're back over here and our Joomla back in in the extensions templates templates and we're in the editor area we've already created the override and in fact I went ahead and I deleted all those unneeded files because when Joomla updates next I want those files to be updated the only code that I really don't want to change is this one that I'm doing an override for in the HTML com content category default articles and here's the default and I'm just gonna go ahead control a backspace Control V because I've copied it from my editor. I'm going to save it. And then we're going to go back to our page. And that's what we had before I took it away. So let's go ahead and start from our menu item. So hopefully it'll look like what we just looked at. And this is from Regular Labs Better Preview. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it, cross my fingers, yay, and here it is. So this has our, this will go right to the domain name, and this goes to the article, so I can go ahead and just click on it, and here I can edit it if I want to. 